Hi, in this video we will see how to add a new aircraft to your fleet. In order to be able to do that, you need to have an admin access to the account, which will allow you to go to the settings wheel under this icon here. And then we go to the section fleet. I've already got some added, but in order to add a new one or the first aircraft of your fleet, we click the add new aircraft button. This is the aircraft profile. So this is the place where we add all the relevant information, the mandatory information that is needed in order for the aircraft to be saved is marked with the red asterisk. So with the aircraft type, we just click on a field and start typing. The system will give you a list of available aircraft types to choose from. It will also give you a short name straight away. Then the registration number, you need to make sure the registration number is inserted correctly because once saved you will not be able to edit it afterwards. Then we add the home base and a colour. The colour will be used to represent the aircraft on the flights list. So that's the basic information in order for the aircraft to be saved. However, the status field is also a crucial part of the fleet profile. By default, it is set to active when we add new aircraft. But we've got three to choose from. So active is a default status indicating the aircraft is in operation. If this status is set at any point during the calendar month, it will be added to the monthly billing. So make sure if you're not using the aircraft, it is either marked as not used or deleted. Not used status is used when the aircraft is a part of the fleet but it's not in operation. So it is either out of order for a long period of time or will be joining your fleet and you want to set it up early. This status needs to be marked at least for a full calendar month in order for the aircraft not to be built. The status deleted deactivates the aircraft throughout the system so it's not visible in any filters. No historical data will be available when this status is selected. Please also remember the maximum takeoff weight is what the price is based on. So if you believe it should be different than what Leon has in its database, just let us know. This is also the place where we can set up the aircraft positions for this aircraft type. If this aircraft type is already a part of a fleet, the positions will be selected automatically based on the ones selected for the other aircraft. However, if it's a brand new aircraft type joining your fleet, you can select the appropriate positions here. These are the positions that you will be able to assign to your crew members and staff. The column use basically marks the positions that will be used in the system and the column default sets the default one to be able to select from when assigning crew to a particular flight. Okay, once we are done, we can scroll down and click update. We can see the aircraft has been added to our fleet with the minimum information needed for the aircraft to operate. You can obviously go back to the editing panel and add all the additional information. But right now you will be able to create a flight on this aircraft. That means when we go to the schedule and click a new trip, the added aircraft will be available on the aircraft dropdown. Now we can go ahead and add the rest of the fleet and then we can move on to users.